These are the six countries that could potentially win the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. We start off with the defending champions France who could easily do two in a row. Their up-tempo song is arguably a standout and with Zoe's great prowess, I cannot see why France can't win again on home soil. I'm unsure on how the staging will pan out, but honestly, best of luck to France. Spain is also another candidate that appears to be in their absolute best in terms of proper kid-friendly songs. It's joyful, it's happy, and it's loving nature makes us a standout compared to the other bot-based up-tempo songs in this year's competition. But there is one other country that also knows how to make a bot a standout and that is Armenia. I mean they are sending a K-pop song that's also a huge bot. The sass and the slay from the girls uh, in the music video looks really impressive but of course we await to see how they will actually perform on the Eurovision stage. Next we have the Netherlands bringing the absolute best in terms of dance vibe to this year's contest. They looked impressive in the national final with great choreography and singing but there are tweaks that do need to be made here and there if they're going to take the junior eurovision crown once again but my home country of the united kingdom is also in contention to win the competition as the great camaraderie between the three girls looks absolutely amazing to watch they look good and definitely have an outside chance right now according to many people but they probably seem the least likeliest to win out of this selection of potential winners but hopefully with great staging and good running order that could be a completely different matter and we could finally see the United Kingdom taking over home the Junior Eurovision crown. However, there is one other country that's also in this list of potential winners that I have to include, but I must admit, I simply disagree. And that is North Macedonia. Don't get me wrong, this is a nice Slavic ballad with great instruments, and Tamara performs it greatly. In fact, she's probably got one of the best vocals in the competition. But given the fact that there are so many ballads this year, it might just slip out of the pecking order entirely. But many people are tipping them to win, but I honestly just don't see it happening. And that is why 